So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, if you like the video, like it off and thing. Have on a total neck today, you know, take about the professional vibes because total neck does make me feel me feel professional, so that's the energy we're radiating today. So how to start a business as a teenager? The first step, how I started was saving up my money. Yeah, I used to save my money from school that I get to, for lunch or whatever. I used to spend some and save some every day or at least, let me say, four times for the week. And for my birthday, I started my business like a little while after my birthday. So for my birthday, when my parents was like, where are your birthday? I was like, money. Money. I want to start a business. I want money to start my business. So that's what I did. I started my business with saving money from school, for my birthday, from all those things. I was just collecting and gathering my money. I was robbing people at the side, you know, getting money to start a business. So it doesn't matter how you get the money to start. Once you get the money, wink. So step two is to plan the type of business that you want to do. So my business, well, the one that I started when I was in form four was a bathing suit business. I was selling bathing suits. I was selling, I had two businesses basically. One of them I was selling bathing suits and, well, yeah, I was pretty much bathing suits for my first lunch. And my other business, I was selling lip gloss. Yeah, just lip gloss. And that is what I sat down. I was like, what I like to do. You know what I interested in that I was asking myself and how I wanted to start my business because start a business with something that you're passionate about, something that you like and well. I like clothes, I like bathing suits, I like lip gloss, I like things to make it look pretty and stuff. And yeah, follow me on Instagram at pretty J self promo. Yeah. Plan the type of business you want to start. If you're into gaming, start a gaming business. If you're into Electronic, start an electronic business. Don't go out of your well, you could go out of your comfort zone, don't get me wrong. But go into a business that you know you're passionate about and that you know you won't give up on. The first, well, I give up on my business a couple of times, but I didn't really like it. So, with the guidance, I start back. Step three is to calculate the expenses. So, when you're already no kind of business you want to have, you save up a good portion of money. You go through, you do research, you find what, type, what kind of business you want, where you need to start that business, and you calculate your expenses to see how much more money you need to you know, push your business up or to actually start. Step four is to create the account that you're going and run your business on. So create a business account, you could um. You could have it on Instagram, you could, have it, you could have it on Facebook, you could have it anyway. Depending on the type of business. For me, it's a cosmetic business, so I started on an Instagram account. I might paint a little screenshot with the account. But step five is, well, when you get your goods, take out good quality pictures of your goods to post up. Those I got, no, like, no dark pictures and stuff like that. I, when I started my business, I was like... Taking out pictures in the light, in the sun, yes, while well, I was taking it out by plants and things. And I find the background of my pictures. When I now started my business, I just don't like it. Now, when I did start, I did really like it. That's another thing. You might start a business and I might not be comfortable with the name of your business. You could change that. You don't have to, like, rush to get everything perfect. When you start a new business, just start it. And when you start it, as you're going along, as you're growing, as you're understanding what you want to do with your business and the vision that you have in your head to take it, so that way, you can always change your name, you can change your, how you're advertising, you can change anything about the business as you're going. So yeah, don't really pressure yourself to come up with the name. Because trust me, the name that you think is the name right now might not be the name. I changed my business name like twice and I don't regret it. Yeah, so take good quality pictures, take it out in light, try not to do too much with your background, which was a mistake I make, I was doing too much with my background, and well, now I find a suitable background for my business, um, yeah, just keep trying different things, you will find your background, you will find your area, you will find whatever it is, 
and a good thing, a good tip, something that I wish I knew before, like when I know when I know some my businesses, you could get a box, pin the box white, and if it's a small item, you have a favorite business, you can put the item inside of the box and take the picture from outside of the box and it would and when you edit it and stuff, it would look like if it's a white, it's a professional shoot you want and do fair business when you actually just put your item in a box. Step six is to pray about it, like pray about your business. Pray about it. Pray about your business because when you start in a business, plenty of things will go wrong. Items might be taking long shipping, something happened, shipping end up coming up to too much. When you're launching, people like a lot of things just happen. People messaging you, I order an item and then not come up with a lot of things will happen with your business. But all you have to do is continue praying about it and pushing yourself with it. If you're wondering why I'm on my lips right now, it kind of move, kind of come off because I was drinking things and I was eating things. But I'll pop a picture and I'll, put, I'll tag the place where you could get the lip gloss. Wait, and a bonus tip, like an extra tip, is if you have the funds to start a class, if you, don't, if you can't do like research and stuff, like spend real hours on taking to research, you can join a class that teaches you about running a business, starting a business, or you can watch other YouTubers who started a business and stuff like that. If you're from Trinidad, when most likely you're from Trinidad, it's have a girl named Monique on Instagram. She has business classes. But I believe her class is finished, or going to finish. Then I have a friend named Rihanna. She was doing classes. But you know, you should follow other entrepreneurs and stuff and see what they're doing. Not, don't copy what they're doing. Don't do that. That's not cool. But yeah, see what they're doing. See who having classes. Join a class. Join, you know, somebody who teaching you to watch YouTube videos. Do all those things. Do your research well and properly. So that was all for this video, the seven, no, that is six steps of starting a business. Hope I enjoyed this video. Hope it was useful. Go start your business. Yes. Yeah, hope I enjoyed this video.